Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. Late at night, on December 2, 2024, the U.S. Department of Commerce suddenly announced the implementation of the third round of export controls on China's semiconductor industry, adding 140 Chinese entities to the entity list, with restrictions ranging from high bandwidth memory chips, HBM, to 24 types of key equipment, which can be called the strictest blockade order in history. However, three months later, SMIC announced that the mass production yield of 7 nanometer chips exceeded 90%. Huawei Ascent AI chips won a large order for smart cities in Southeast Asia, and North Watch Wong's etching machines squeezed into Samsung's supply chain. Since the first round of supply cuts to Huawei in 2020, the routine of the U.S. chip war against China has long been no secret. The third round of blockade in 2024 hits the nail on the head. HBM chips are the heart of AI computing power, and 24 types of equipment cover the entire process from wafer cleaning to ion implantation. But ironically, this combination of punches has exposed the anxiety of the United States. The stock prices of American equipment giants such as LAM Research and Applied Materials have plummeted by 30% due to the loss of the Chinese market. Intel recorded a loss of 16.6 billion US dollars in the third quarter of 2024, and CEO Pat Gelsinger was forced to resign. When the outside world thought that China could only rely on their national system to bear the brunt, market data revealed another truth. In 2024, China's 28 nanometer and above mature processed chips accounted for 76% of the global market share, and the price was 30% lower than similar products in the United States. The strategy directly led to a 15% decline in revenue for American companies such as Qualcomm and Texas Instruments, while SMIC's 28 nanometer production line was running at full capacity, with an annual revenue growth rate of more than 30%. The large-scale production of mature processes provides a testing ground for local equipment manufacturers. The yield rate of the etching machine of North Huachuang has increased from 60% to 85%, and its sales in 2024 increased by 47% year-on-year, entering the Samsung supply chain for the first time. More than 1,500 processes in cheap manufacturing need to be standardized, and the discipline of Chinese factories has become a key advantage. Taking SMIC's 7 nanometer production line as an example, engineers control the error of multiple exposure, debugging of DUV lithography machines within 0.1 microns, and the yield rate sought from 3% to 95%, while the yield rate of TSMC's factory in Arizona, USA, fell behind by 15% due to employees' innovative operation. Behind this difference is cultural characteristics. The obedience and collectivism emphasized by Confucian culture make Chinese workers more willing to strictly implement processes rather than pursue personalized innovation. China's huge domestic demand market provides a natural buffer for technological iteration. In 2024, domestic new energy vehicles will consume 10 billion chips. GRI and Media's self-developed MCU chips will reduce import dependence from 95% to 32%, and downstream demand will force upstream technology breakthroughs. After Huawei was cut off from 5G chip supply, relying on the stable demand for domestic base station orders, it used 14 nanometer chips to stack performance close to 7 nanometers. The Kirin 9000S chip, equipped with the Mate 60 series of mobile phones, sold well in Southeast Asia. Shanghai Microelectronics 65 nanometer dry lithography machine achieves 14 nanometer process through quadruple exposure. Although the yield is only 60%, it has met the rigid needs in the fields of smart home appliances and industrial control. More importantly, 
domestic equipment manufacturers have formed a cluster effect in the field of mature processes. The price of Smith's etching machine is 40% lower than that of American products, and its market share will jump from 5% to 18% in 2024. Torging Technologies Thin Film Deposition Equipment has won 50% of Yangtze Memories orders. Yangtze Memories, 128-layer NAND flash memory, swept the world at a price 30% lower than Samsung's, and its shipments in 2024 increased by 200% year-on-year, forcing Micron to cut the drum production capacity of its Huffy plant by 40%. Chongxin Storage's DDR4 memory sticks relied on the surrounding the city with the countryside strategy to win 70% of PC OEM orders in Southeast Asia, causing SK Hynix's inventory turnover days to extend from 45 days to 68 days. Huawei's Ascend 910B chip surpasses NVIDIA's 100 in energy efficiency ratio in edge reasoning scenarios through algorithm optimization and has won 50% of the share of Singapore's smart city project. Cambrian C1 590 enters the field of autonomous driving with a customized architecture and its shipments will exceed 1 million pieces in 2024. The breakthrough is not a simple technological catch-up, but a differentiated innovation based on local application scenarios. A report from the Federal Reserve Bank of New York shows that the U.S. export controls on China have caused an average decline of 8.6% in revenue of related U.S. companies, a 25% plunge in earnings before interest and taxes, and a market value of $130 billion U.S. dollars. In order to bypass the ban, applied materials sold second-hand equipment to China through its Singapore subsidiary and was eventually fined 1.7 billion US dollars by the US Department of Commerce. Kiliai's engineers privately helped Chinese companies debug machines, triggering an SEC investigation. The US blockade has accelerated the autonomy of China's supply chain. After Huawei was kicked out of the global EDA2 market, Wadao Jutian's market share soared from 2% to 18%. The proportion of domestic equipment in SMIC's 7 nanometer production line increased from 30% to 65%, and the goal for 2025 is to reach 80%. Even Japanese and Korean companies have begun to bet on both sides. Tokyo Electron sells 28 nanometer photoresist to SMIC, and Samsung CN factory secretly expands production of mature process chips. Despite the 500 billion yuan investment in the third phase of the National Bait Fund, some companies are still trapped in subsidy dependence. In 2024, a semiconductor project in a central province failed to meet technical standards resulting in a 3 billion yuan investment. Another AI chip company survived on government orders and had almost zero commercialization capabilities. Shanghai Microelectronics Lithography Machine processes only one-third of the number of wafers per hour of ASML and consumes 40% more power. Mix 7 nanometer chip costs are 20% higher than TSMC, and the gap is difficult to make up in the short term. But this has also given rise to another kind of survival wisdom, using the profits from mature processes to feedback, high-end research and development. By 2024, Huawei will invest 70% of the profits from 28 nanometers chips into 3 nanometers process research.